Hello Capricorn and welcome to the tarot room. My name is Robin and Capricorn today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind baby. We're going to find out you know what they want from you, their current feelings about you, what you can expect from them in the near future and we'll also find out what it is that you want. Make sure that this is your reading. Let's talk about you and your person Cappy. So spirit guides talk to us about Capricorn and the person on their mind. What's the overall energy between the two of them? Talk to us. Oh, deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Let's get to the bottom of this and see what's going on. And Capricorn, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. All right, what do we got here? We have judgment. We have the sun. We have the three of pentacles. And the actions from this person, what can Capricorn expect in the near, per in the near future? The king of wands, eh? On the bottom of the deck, we have justice. We have justice and judgment, two cards of judging. <laughs> judgment is in your energy. This is what you want. So I feel like you want a resurrection. You want some honesty. You want um, the truth of the matter. But the judgment is all about success, second chances. Maybe you're demanding an apology because it's also the card of apologies. Um, you're looking for the truth. So is your intuition telling you there's not? What do you want to say about this judgment? Because that's what you want out of the situation. I've changed the way I'm doing my readings. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. I'll probably, you know, just go back and forth a little bit. I like to change it up. I like to change it up. Eight of cups. Yeah. So you're wondering, you're trying to figure out what you want. Oh, wow. You're literally at a point of judgment here. Your intuition is telling you, we'll find out what's going on. But judgment, eight of cups in the chariot. Do you move forward with success? Or um, we do have a very attractive couple here. This is an intense connection because we have the king and the queen of wands. We have two people who are very physically attracted to each other. You fine and they fine. You guys like the way your bodies look um, and faces, right? <laughs> so you're trying to figure out where to go, what to do. But I feel a part of you wants success, but a part of you might want to walk away. What they want uh, is the sun. <laughs> they want happiness too. You guys want the same thing. They want success. They want to work through this. What do you want to say about the sun here for Cappy's person? The five of pentacles, the chariot again, and the ten of pentacles. Wow. They want happiness, long-term success, stability. They want to get over whatever is going on here. But right now your person's feeling a little out in the cold, a little hurt, um, a little negative. They're trying to stay positive. Um, there's definitely some kind of rift or conflict that happened between the two of you. There's something, there's a distance here. I mean, maybe it's physical distance or maybe it's just emotional distance, but there's distance between you and this person. They want um, loyalty, right? They want generation. They want long-term with you. They want happiness with you. They want to give you a gift. The devil. There's that energy, though. Well, there you are. The two of wands. Yeah. They want, they want, <laughs> the devil's not bad in the Capricorn ring because that's you. <laughs> so they want you. Um, the two of wands, the king of cups. They love you. They want to create a future with you. They want to build a future. They want to build a life. They want happiness with you. So there's a three of pentacles, which is their feelings. They want to work on this. They have this burning desire. What else do you want to say about that three of pentacles? They're not willing to give up on this. The magician and judgment is in their energy as well as your energy. They might want to, they're hurt. What happened here? Your person's hurt. Maybe they're not telling you that they're hurt. Um, I don't see a lot of deception between the two of you. So maybe they're just not being honest about how they're feeling. Um, but there's something that your person's hurt by. They're feeling left out. They're feeling in the cold, but they want this beginning with you. They want to take this leap of faith. The second time I've seen this dog. So they have their, they have loyalty to you here, Capricorn. They want to talk to you. The communication and judgment. If you're owed an apology, they want one. But if they think you owe them an apology, they want one. Because um, judgment came up in both your cards, your, your energies. And judgment for me, Cap, is uh, an apology card. But it's also the card of second chances, resurrection, success. Putting the egos aside, talking about the situation and moving forward. Um, because there's pain from their end. They're feeling left at, whoa. It might be from the past. Okay, they clarified that for us here. Four of Swords. There's something from the past that's hold. They haven't told you the queen of wands, the eight of swords. They were hurt in the past. They haven't fully expressed. Um, they may not have told you about something that happened in the past. They're keeping a secret. They're keeping a secret from you. Um, there's the page of wands though, not for long. So they want this with you. That's what the deception is. Okay. So the page of wands, there's an attraction, there's happiness. There's making this go forward, but there's a sense of withdrawal from your person. Um, and they haven't told you about something in their past here. There's a 10 of wands, but it's burdening them. It's time they tell you. It's time you know. Yeah, eight of wands. It's time that you know what this is. So tell, tell us about this king of wands because this is their actions in the near future. Look at them looking at you. They can't believe you're so hot. <laughs> How did Capricorn get so attractive? 
Um, the star, the high pre there's the secret coming out and the four of wands. So there's secrets are about to be revealed here. You're about to find out what happened in the past to hurt them. Um, I feel that they're, they're trying to heal from this. They want to move forward. The star is them creating this balance. They're going to be true to you here and honest. There's the ace of cups because they want this. They want justice. You're what they feel they deserve after something that happened in the past here. They deserve happiness. They want it with you. Um, that you guys are on the same page. You want the same thing, but you're probably sensing something from this person. There's the four of pentacles and the eight of swords. They're stressing about how to tell you. There's the magician, but they're going to come and tell you. So get ready for some secrets to be revealed here, Kat. Um, I don't feel that they're hurt and their conflict is with you. It's from something in the past. And they're going to come and tell you because the attraction that they have is uncanny here. Well, I didn't even use that word, but I, uh, maybe I should, I am now. So the King of Wands here is serious attraction, serious passion. They want some naughty time with their Capricorn. Um, there you are <laughs> they're in their energy. There you are. The two, they're coming to talk to you. So expect some secrets to be exposed here. Um, they want what they want balance. They want you, they want to work through this with you. They don't want to lose you here. So let's get a few Oracle messages cap and we'll get your potential outcome with this person. What does Capricorn need to surrender to? Your comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own power, strengths, and attractiveness. And addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking. I think overthinking should be on this card. Take action to begin to heal that addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And if that's not your energy, maybe, you know, it's an addiction. Maybe, you know, they used to be a drug addict and they want you to know that they used to be a drug addict. That's weird for me to say that, but... Hey, everybody has a past. Everybody overcomes challenges. So whatever that would be, there's definitely a secret about to come out here. What is the caring connection between Capricorn and this person? Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. And I believe that's what you both want. Um, this person just has some, they have a past. <laughs> Don't we all though, Cap? Don't we all? What is the hidden truth here? They could say something. What would it be? I look for you everywhere, trying to run into you. We both know I'm not the one. There's those doubts. And I know that I crossed the line with you. What is that? I'm so attracted to you. So take which one resonates with you. Um, like I said, I want to do one more. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So, ah, and I got that. I remember every detail of that day. We have a lot of them. I don't usually get that many. So, um, that's the hidden truth. <laughs> I have nothing to add, but just take the one that goes with you. I do believe there's a little bit of doubts and insecurities coming from them, but um, they're coming to talk, talk to you. So let's see. Um, okay. Maybe they were like a drug addict or some hard drugs in the past or something, or maybe they used to be an alcoholic or something like that. Um, okay. What is the final, what is the potential outcome? Let me just move those out of the way. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, it's where are you in a month? after the secrets get exposed, after they come forward and tell you about their past, tell you what they've been keeping from you. How do you react and how does it go? Spirit guides. Six of swords. That wasn't the first card. So the strength, six of swords, the king of swords. Okay, and what goes with that? Two more, I like five, I like five. Whoa, I'm getting way more than five. The King of Wands, so there's that King still. The Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. I don't know if you can see all these. Um, so there's having the courage to talk to you. There's moving forward after the past. What's the King of Swords, though? Because the King of Swords is a very... I feel like it was just an intense conversation. Maybe they're an intense kind of person because they're coming up as the King of Wands and the King of Swords. So very... Uh, that is a very intense person. It could just be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But you are what they want. There's a lot of love here. There's a strong connection here. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. That's uh, soulmate energy that look at these people looking at each other in love. There's the magician. But here's this pessimistic outlook. There's just something pessimistic about your person here. They're just a negative thinker. What do you want to say about that? Because they want this beginning and I see it moving forward. But then we have this... Yeah, they are a pessimistic thinker. Four of Cups. Your person's very negative. They have a negative attitude. <laughs> and they need to focus on the positive here. So you got a pessimistic person. They look at the they look at things like we already saw that. I'm not the one for you. So it's like, oh yeah, it's not gonna work because I've been hurt in the past. You have a very negative energy. This person is pessimistic. So hopefully you can teach them to be optimistic because there's a strength, which is them trying 
to release these doubts, these insecurities, these, these flaws within themselves, whatever it was that happened in the past, it is a big impact on who they are as a person today. But I see a new beginning going forward. I see a lot of love, a lot of happiness. Just be aware your person's very negative. There's the fool. There's your new beginning. So hopefully you can help them be optimistic <laughs> and help them through some of these challenges, you know, especially if it is drugs or alcohol and that's a way of coping mechanism, then they need healthy emotional boundaries to make sure that, you know, things are, it's a healthy relationship for you. So Kat, that's what I have. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the best of luck with this person. If you like my style, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, helps my channel to grow. So thank you for the support. We're going to close this off with a yes or no question. So if the card comes up, it's yes. If the card comes in reverse, it's a no. Let's see what the answer is. Spirit guys, what's the answer for Capricorn? Yes or no? There's that King of Wands again. The answer is yes. So that's what I have. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.